hi everyone i hope you're okay this is the seventh video guys which simply means i'm doing question seven uh from the 2023 november examination which was written by the learners uh in the province of eastern cape okay uh before we start guys please note that there are six videos before this one and there will be three videos after this one of me tackling this question paper uh, just just click on the just click the link on the description below it will take you straight to the to the playlist that has a full memorandum uh, you can download the question paper answer the questions with me or if you cannot find the question paper just take screenshots and then answer the questions uh, if, if if your answers are not the same as mine and there are things you don't understand please do write on the comment section I'll definitely help you out okay uh, we are told that uh, in question seven we are told that in the diagram we are told that the diagram below shows the graphs of f of x and g of x d and f are points of intersection of f and g and t okay t and u are, are the x intercepts of f e is the y intercept of f and s is the x intercept of g vw is a straight line drawn parallel to the y axis which simply means that VW is a vertical line because every line which is parallel to the Y axis is a vertical line. Okay, uh, they want us to write down the equation of the axis of symmetry of F of X. Okay, we, we can find the X value at turning point. The X value at turning point is, is actually the axis of symmetry. Yeah? How, can, how can you do that? We do have two points that are, that, that are, on, a parallel, that are on a parallel line. Or a parallel plane, if 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 one can put it all right, together, uh, <clears throat> so I can simply say the x value at turning point T P is equal to the x value at E plus the x value at F all over two. So this will be zero plus one over two, which is just one over two. So the x value at the turning point is one over two. So the equation of the axis of symmetry is x is equal to a half. Okay. And then for which values of x is the graph of f decreasing? Okay. Uh, just just scan your graph uh, from left to right. Just open your card. Just open your eyes, guys. Uh, whenever you move from, from the left until the turning point, your graph is continuously going up is going up that means it's it's increasing are you together and then from the turning point going to the right your graph is going downwards which means it's, it, your graph is decreasing so f is decreasing when x is greater than one over two okay now we must calculate the gradient of of, of or the gradient of f between points d and e the gradient of f between points d and e right okay um the gradient of line de is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 right uh y2 let's take 6 minus 4 and then take 0 minus a negative 1 this will give us 2 over 1 which is just 2 so the gradient between two points there, the gradient is 2. They want us to determine the equation of G. G is a straight line graph, right? Um, for us to find the equations of, of G, we need the point on G of X and the gradient of G of X. Né? How can we find the gradient? Yes, we do, have, we do have two points on the graph of G. So I'll simply say, find the gradient of line FD. Uh, it's y2 minus y1 over x2 minus minus x1 right it's 6 minus 4 all over 1 minus a negative 1 so this will give me 6 minus 4 is 2 2 over 2 is just 1 so my gradient is 1 right i know the gradient and i know uh, and, and i have a point i have two points actually on on, on the line of g I'll simply substitute here uh, mx plus c. Ne? Since I know that the gradient is 1, so m is equal to 1, I don't, I don't need to write m there because m is equal to 1. 
Are you together? For me to find you see I must substitute any point on the graph. Let's take point F. I know what the y value is 6 when x is 1. So the value of c is just 5. So therefore, y is equal to x plus 5. The equation of g, it says y is equal to x plus 5. Now we must show that f of x is equal to that. f of x is that. Is that okay? How how can how can we show that f of x <coughs> is equal to that equation? Remember that we know that uh, for the graph of f, ne? our equation says f of x is equal to a x squared plus b x plus six because we do know the value of the y-intercept, right? E, e, e is the coordinate of the y-intercept, and the value of y at point E is equal to 6. So the, the only things we don't know is the value of A and B. Ne? We can simply find the values of A and B because we do have points on the graph. I can substitute the point of D and the point of F. Uh, so whenever I substitute with D, I know that OY is 4, y is 4 if and only if x is negative 1. So simply 4 is equal to a minus b plus 6. So therefore a, I'll take, I'll take b to the other side, it will be positive, 6 will be negative, so I'll have 4 minus 6, which is just negative 2. So this will be my equation 1, right? <clears throat> okay now 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 when i'm substituting the point of f on the graph of the point of f on the graph of f of x ne, uh, i will simply have i know that y is six uh, whenever x is equal to one are we together y is six whenever x is equal to one uh, I'll, 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 I'll end up having uh, 6 is equal to a plus b plus 6. Are you together? Uh, that means a is equal to negative b because the 6s will, 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 will subtract one another. That's my equation 2, right? So I can simply sub equation 2 in equation 1. I can quickly sub equation 2 into equation 1. Whenever I come across a in equation 1, I'll substitute negative b. I'll have negative b is equal to b plus 2. That means uh, I'll have 2b on the other side and a 2 here. That means b is just negative 1, right? Therefore, I just need to go and find a. b is negative 1. That means a is equal to negative 1 uh, minus 2 that means a is negative 3 means a is negative no man i made a mistake here guys as you see as in the uh, meds the mistake was here guys it's not plus 2 it's minus 2 Remember that you get you got a is equal to b minus two, right? <clears throat> so whenever whenever I come across a, I'll substitute to negative b, and then I still have b minus two on on the other side. I have negative two b is equal to negative two. Then b is positive one. After finding b, I need to go and find the value of a. A is equal to one minus two. That means a is just negative one. So the value of a is negative 1, b is positive 1, c was given to us as a 6. So we just need to substitute there. I know that f of x is always equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. Ne? The value of a is negative 1, so I'll say negative x squared, b is positive 1 plus x, then c is positive 6 plus 6. So yes, f of x is equal to this.
Okay, now they want us to find the coordinate, the distance of line SU. Uh, U is the x-intercept of f of x and s is the x-intercept of g of x, right? So if I can find the coordinates of s and u, I can simply calculate the length of, of, of line su. Okay. Um, how can I find the coordinates of u? I know that the equation of f of x, it says minus x squared plus x minus 6, right? I know that uh, at this point, point u, y is always y is equal to 0 because uh, u is at the x-axis, right? So y is 0, I have negative x squared plus x minus 6. I can divide everything by a, a negative 1. I will have positive x squared minus x uh, minus 6 is equal to 0. Remember that my equation had a plus 6, ne? Okay, I want the factors of 6 that when I subtract will give me 1. So those factors are just 3 and 2. The bigger factor would always take the sign of the middle term. I would have minus and plus here. Then x is 3 or x is negative 2. I know that I have negative 2 and 0 here. That means here I have 3 and 0. Let me go and find the coordinates of 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 thing of of s. I have my equation there as g of x. The equation say I think it's x plus five. Let me confirm. Yes, it is x plus five. Uh, for me to find the coordinates of x, I know that y is zero there, and then x plus five. Then x is equal to a negative five. So the coordinates of s, I simply have negative 5 and 0 so the length of su su is just equal to since since both of these points are, are, are on the same horizontal line i can just sub subtract the x values right the big one minus the smaller one i'll get eight units are you together okay now they want me to determine the values of x for which uh, the graph of g uh, for which f of x minus g of x is less or equal to zero Th this thing can be rewritten as f of x less or equal to g of x are you together so i'm looking for the values of x for which the graph of f is below the graph of g i want the values of x for which the graph of x is below the graph of g uh, let me let me do this. Okay, uh, the graph of x is below the graph of g from here going to the left and then from there going to the right. Are you together? So uh, it's simply I'll simply say when x is less than uh, negative one and x and or when x is greater than positive one. Excuse me. <clears throat> now they want me to find <clears throat> the maximum length of of OVW, right? Remember that OVW we said it's it's a vertical line, right? Why? Because OVW is a line which is parallel to the y-axis. Any line which is parallel to the y-axis, that line is a vertical line. And how do you find the vertical distance? Always say top graph minus the bottom graph. So the length of OVW will always say f of x minus g of x. Uh, f of x is equal to the parabola, which is negative x squared plus x minus 6. And then g of x is just x plus 5. Uh, I would have negative x squared plus x minus 6 minus x minus 5. That's negative x squared. <coughs> And uh, that's negative x squared minus 11. Yeah, minus 11. What do they want? They want us to find the maximum length. 
the maximum length of VW VW mm, is there anything I Ish, guys I keep on making this mistake <coughs> excuse me guys we have a plus there Ish, I keep on making the same mistake over and over again so that means we have a plus one yeah now it makes sense all right together if if guys you look at this uh thing as as, as a function eh? <coughs> you'll just draw a graph like this whereby here you have negative one positive one the maximum value is just one i would get or you can simply find the, the maximum distance is equal to one eh? uh, or all you can do you can simply find the the x value at the turning point and then go and substitute the x value in the length of vw to find the corresponding y value that corresponding y value is the maximum length how can you do that i know that x is equal to minus b over 2a right there's no value of b here so it's 0 over 2 times negative 1 which is just 0 so therefore maximum length of vw I will just substitute to zero whenever I come across to x for me to find the maximum length. So the maximum length is just equal to one. All right, together. So the maximum length of v w is just equal to one. Yeah. Uh, that's how guys. That's how we would have tackled question seven, and I really hope that. Uh, I really hope that uh, the video helped you out, guys. And thank you for your time. Uh, just, guys, stay tuned and for more videos. Don't forget to subscribe. Yeah?